just a week ago, the Trump administration imposed tariffs on tomatoes imported from Mexico. This after Florida tomato growers complained Mexico was undercutting them. News 4 Tucson's Upita Murillo has reaction. It's new at 5. This pallet of tomatoes came from Hermosillo, Sonora on Saturday. It sells for about $800. A week ago, this same pallet sold for $150 less. So who's going to make up the difference? You and I. Unfortunately, this was a decision that we feel was taken for political purposes. Florida is always a, a very popular battleground state for electoral votes and, and all kinds of votes there. Lance Youngmeyer heads the Fresh Produce Association of the Americas. He's talking about the tomato suspension agreement of 2013 between the Commerce Department and Mexico. It states tomatoes from Mexico cannot be sold below $8.30 a box. <laughs> With the agreement canceled, it means trouble for the produce industry as it relates to tomatoes. It will definitely impact us. Guillermo Martinez is the general manager of Wilson Produce, one of the oldest distributors in Nogales. The tomato industry was the first produce to come through Nogales in 1895. Now with the recent change, Martinez is concerned. It will diminish the amount of volume and that will mean less product and less jobs. According to recent studies by the University of Arizona, about half of the tomatoes that come into the U.S. are from Mexico. It generates $4.8 billion in sales in the U.S. and Canada, creating 35,000 jobs. Elias Rodriguez is the operations manager. He's been at Wilson Produce for six years. And everybody's kind of concerned of see how many people is going to come back uh, or they're going to have to look for another job in different industries for the warehouses. So everybody is on, on, on a question mark as to what's going to happen for next season. Negotiations are still ongoing for a new agreement, but until then, be prepared to pay more for the tomatoes in your salad, in your spaghetti sauce, and in your salsa. In Nogales, Arizona, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson. Tomatoes aren't the